You start with sheer panic when you're thinking about writing a score like this. It's a lot of music. The music is very much a blend of different types of music. So blind panic, because some of it you know how to do better than other parts of it, and so you have to learn very, very, very quickly how to uh, get to where you need to be. In a lot of ways, music is the glue that holds the film together. Ed's amazing talent is in translating the random thoughts and words that I would give him into, uh, into music. Yep, fine, moving on. The types of score that audiences expect these days, I think, is very much a fusion of different types of music. Ed and I talk a lot about the palette for the film musically, what kind of sounds uh, we wanted to hear in the score. We wanted to record a live orchestra, that was very important to us from the beginning, but we also wanted the score to have a natural, gritty, dirty sort of feeling to it and also reflect the technology in the film. Writing music to picture is, is a very um, specific discipline because you're not just writing music ultimately for yourself you're writing music to tell a story and there are certain technical constraints, writing around dialogue and timing certain moments to picture. The cut of the movie is constantly changing and the music has to chase the, the, the cut. What will happen is you'll write a piece of music and you think, this is awesome, I'm really happy with this. Then the cut changes and something that was over here is now over here, something that was over here is now over here. So um, it's very much uh, music is subservient to what's happening in picture. In this scene, David discovers that his employers are not all they seem to be. When David sees the file, he realizes that something isn't right. So we start with violins at this point, and then we're bringing in the violas and the celli, adding more tension to evoke his mounting anxiety. But then he's interrupted because he realizes that he's being watched by his listener. David takes action and confronts Jordan. He wants to know how he can cheat the system and avoid having his thoughts read. Their conversation is conspiratorial. They may be being watched by unseen shadow agents. And so it made sense for the strings to become angular to take on the musical language of a thriller. Great actors don't play it all externally. Some of it is very much internal. And so that's a real opportunity for music to step forward and help to tell the story. And at this point, we step away from the tension of conspiracy and surveillance and move more to the emotional life of those characters. The piano felt to me like the most domestic instrument and the broken family units in listening all share the same musical idea running through them of this distant, processed, slightly distorted piano. It'd probably be you. When Ed was first sending me versions of the score for the film, he was creating it from samples in his computer. After seeing and hearing the uh, live orchestra recordings with world-class musicians, there are a couple sequences in the film in particular that they really shine. The thing is, no one really puts money into recording music anymore. The people that commission music now are filmmakers and uh, people making television programs and advertisers. So the place where you can really experiment with music and have a budget to do so is in the media domain. I've never actually watched anything like this. You know, this is something that you're really not exposed to and seeing what someone else has found in the performance, in the film and inspired them to do their role. I mean, it feels like it's coming full circle and that's amazing. The great thing about working with Ed is he really understands music and emotion and how to evoke emotion through music. The real core of listening is not just about telepathy and technology, it's about uh, very human relationships between these characters. The best films can work on many levels. They can be thrilling entertainment, they can be funny, emotionally satisfying. Hopefully making a small comment or observation about the human experience as well. But really to create the emotionally satisfying part of the film that really depends on the music. Music has the power to 
bypass our minds and ways we process things logically and just reach straight into the heart of the audience and grab it and yank it in uh, just the way uh, we wanted to, hopefully uh, making them laugh at the right moment and cry at the right moment. And what was really a magical experience for me was seeing how Ed translated them into music and uh, really brought the story to life.